Today I'm going to be showing you how to turn in your work hours via M2P on a computer. First you will need to open up your web browser. Uh, you would then need to go to the address bar and type in I want my mtp.com. It's going to bring you to this uh, screen here you, for your trade. You're going to click on LIUNA, which stands for Laborers International Union of North America. For your local, uh, first thing that comes to mind is going to be uh, putting whatever local you are from. But to turn in your hours, you need to re select Northern California Training Center because you're reporting your hours to the apprenticeship program. And here you're going to ask for a member, agent, or contractor. You are a member. You're going to click on Go. Here you're going to come up to your login screen. Your login screen is going to ask you for your social as your username. Go ahead and type that in. And your password is going to be the last four of your social. It's going to bring you to your uh, home screen, your profile where you're going to be have all your basic information and make sure that it's always there uh, and updated uh, as you can if you scroll down uh, you can see that you have your total working hours listed here and your total training hours listed here uh, you want to get those hours uh, in as soon as possible and make sure that you are going to class when needed uh, here I am losing out on money because I am up due for a race and I have not gone to coordinator to set up a class. But let's get back to it and let's get into those hours. You're going to go up to the top where it says my monthly apprenticeship reports. You're going to click there. And once you're on this new screen, you're going to scroll down to where it says to add report. Click here. That's going to automatically populate the month and year that we're currently on. You're going to click on continue. Once you hit continue, it's going to bring you to the screen for January 2021. Here you're going to be breaking down your day uh, depending on what you do at a job site. So in this case, we're going to be breaking down a 10 hour day, which will be January 26, 2021. Let's say we did two hours of site preparation. Uh, site preparation includes Let's say we did that for two hours. We did some grading and compacting. We did another two hours for tools and equipment, which include, let's just say we did that two, for two hours, one hour of safety, which includes, for the remainder five hours, let's say we did some building construction, which could include that was our 10 hour day for today. So we're going to be clicking on save only. Once you're on save only, you can log off and come back again tomorrow. Once you log in the next day, you will be brought into this screen. You're going to click on January 21 and you're going to click on view and edit. This is to update uh, January 27th your January 27th hours. Here, again, another 10 hour day. Say we did two hours of site project preparation, uh, one hour of tools and equipment, uh, two hours of safety, and five hours of building construction. Once you complete all your month reporting, you're going to click on save and post. I'm going to do this just to show you guys what it says. So once you click save and post, it's going to bring you to the screen. It's going to ask you that you cannot make any changes to this, re this report once it's posted. Do you want to post this monthly apprenticeship report? You're going to click yes or no. And that's it. Contact your apprentice coordinator. Make sure that they got it and you get ready for next month. Okay. Thank you guys.